So in my book, I describe five different types of extreme narcissists. The first one, the bullying narcissist, builds up his sense of self-esteem and self-importance by making you feel like a loser. The seductive narcissist, by contrast, builds up your self-esteem in order to win your admiration, making you feel like a winner so you will admire her. The know-it-all narcissist is constantly putting forth information and opining, acting like he knows better than everybody else and other people are ignorant, stupid, and ill-informed, that is, they're losers. The vindictive narcissist, probably the most dangerous type, will go on the attack and try to destroy you if you wound her self-esteem. The hardest one to identify is the uh, addicted narcissist because the grandiosity and the self-importance is hidden in the addiction to the drug, so it's not readily visible, but they are still addicted to the idea of being a winner. I wanted to write a book that would rescue the word narcissist from trivialization on the one hand and stereotyping on the other. I wanted to show that narcissism really exists along a spectrum of possible expressions from healthy self-esteem on one end to sociopathy on the other. The Narcissist You Know is a guide for helping the reader recognize, understand, and cope with these extremely difficult people that seem to be showing up everywhere. It's not a technical book, it's not a professional book, it's, it's based on profiles, case studies from my practice, and well-known celebrity stories that will help people you know, identify these traits and understand what drives extreme narcissism.